So we now place ourselves in the loving presence of God. In the name of the Father, Son of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Lord, thank you for the gift of the new day. Thank you for the life, the love that you have for us. And thank you for allowing us to see the beauty of this day, to continue the mission you have entrusted to us, to savor the blessings. We thank you, Lord, for the gift and the life, above all for the spirit that you have given us, the spirit of truth, to accompany us in our journey in seeking you more and more and loving you and to be pleasing to you every day of our life. Please come, O oh Lord, and stay with us in this moment of Zoom, gather as we are gathered together. As we pray for the other members of our families, the global warriors who are not here with us, we pray as well for those who recommended themselves our prayers and for those whom we have promised our prayers. All this we ask through Christ our Lord. Amen. 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 Reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. Glory, Glory to you, to o you Lord. O Lord. Herod was the one who had John arrested and bound in prison on account of Herodias, the wife of his brother Philip, whom he had married. John had said to Herod, It is not lawful for you to have your brother's wife. Herodias harbored a grudge against him and wanted to kill him, but was unable to do so. Herod feared John, knowing him to be a righteous and holy man, and kept him in custody. When he heard him speak, he was very much perplexed, yet he liked to listen to him. She had an opportunity one day when Herod, on his birthday, gave a banquet for his courtiers, his military officers, and the leading men of Galilee. Herodias own daughter came in and performed a dance that delighted Herod and his guests. The king said to the girl, ask of me whatever you wish and I will grant it to you. He even swore many things to her. I will grant you whatever you ask of me, even to half of my kingdom. She went out and said to her mother, what shall I ask for? She replied, the head of John the Baptist. The girl hurried back to the king's presence and made her request. I want you to give me at once on a platter, the head of John the Baptist. The king was deeply distressed, but because of his oaths and the guests, he did not wish to break his word to her. So he promptly dispatched an executioner with orders to bring back his head. He went up and beheaded him in the prison he brought in the head of it on a platter and gave it to the girl. The girl in turn gave it to her mother. When his, <clears throat> when his disciples heard about, about it, they came and took his body and laid it in a tomb. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise, Praise to you, Lord, Lord Jesus Christ. Christ. The Lord be with you. Good morning and good evening. Good morning, good evening Father. Uh, perhaps I would like to ask you this question. Do you know how to dance? <laughs> because if you know how to dance, you have the half of the kingdom of here. <laughs> <Like, laughs> but, but of course, ours is not about dancing, but rather how we should be closer to the Lord. Allow me to present to you two personalities of course, we exclude the one of Herodias. But there are two personalities that would dance as well, aside from the daughter of Herodias. And there are contrasts. One, of course, is Herod. And his dancing is always to the tune of his authority, to the tune of his command, to the tune of what he wants only. Not listening, not even asking or clarifying to a tune of even sinfulness, immorality, taking the wife of his brother Philip, that's a gross immorality, to a tune of simply pleasing others, his courtiers, the military men, those guests. Because in fact, when he asked the daughter of Herodias what she wants, and when she said the platter, she respected John. She would listen to John. 
but she did not change the course of his actions. And so a man who, he's, who is well-dressed, a man who lives in the palace, but he does not know how to listen. He only listens to his voice and to his own. Contrasted is St. John the Baptist. He lives in the desert. He has the hair using the camel's hair, eating locusts, staying in the wilderness. Seemingly, it's different, two different ways. But why was he there? Because he wanted to listen to the voice of God. He wanted to listen to the voice of God inviting him for such mission. And of course, the mission that he has is none other than to pinpoint Christ in the world. In fact, when Jesus started his ministry, he was the first one to point to his disciples. He is the Lamb of God. And truly telling the world, you might be who is Jesus. And so two men that are dancing with a different tune. Hero dancing the tune of self-respect, of human respect, but John dancing the tune of the grace and listening to the will of God. Ultimately, Herod's dancing of his own way led to the beheading of St. John, but St. John's dance led him to life eternal. Of course, he was buried by his disciples. Today, we celebrate the passion of St. John the Baptist, Years back before the renewal and the translation of the new uh, biblical or missal, it is known as the Feast of the Beheading of St. John. But this time it is said to be the Passion, the memorial of the Passion of St. John. The Passion that he had, if the Lord had been crucified and died, he was beheaded and the ultimate his life was a martyrdom for the sake of the Lord Jesus. All of which because at the center of it, there is the dance of the daughter of Herodias. I said earlier, do you know how to dance? Because our dance should be the dance of John the Baptist. The dance to the tune of grace, the dance in listening to the will of God, perhaps in the wilderness of life where we would like to make our sacrifices, but ultimately, it will be gaining as well life eternal. And for us to remove the TikTok of hero, the TikTok of self-respect only, of human respect, plus the TikTok of Herodias, which is of anger, jealousy, and other kinds that are inimical to the gospel values. May we dance the tune of the grace of God like St. John. Amen. 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 Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank, Thank you, Lord Jesus. Lord Jesus, for giving us Saint John. For giving, for giving us, us Saint John, Saint your hero, your, your hero, and your prophet, and your, and your prophet. prophet, to pinpoint you in the world, to pinpoint, pinpoint you in the world, that you are truly the Lamb of God, that you, you are, are truly the Lamb of God. God. Give us Lamb your Spirit, O Lord. To recognize in the tune of the Holy Spirit. To recognize the tune of the Holy Spirit. To dance in the tune of grace. To dance in the tune of grace. Of your mercy and forgiveness and love. Of your forgiveness and love. By hearing your word. By hearing, By hearing your, hearing your, your words. words and celebrating the sacraments, and, so and celebrating the sacraments. the sacraments, help us to avoid, help us, help us, us to avoid, avoid the, dance the dance of hero, the dance of hero, and Herodias, and Herodias, and Herodias. the dances of anger, the dances, the dances of, anger. of anger, jealousy. Jealousy. And human respect only. And human, and human respect, respect only. only. Authority which is not patent to your plan. The authority, authority which, which is not patent to your plan. But only of selfishness. But only of selfishness. Of selfishness. Of selfishness. May we live our lives. May we live, May we live our lives. 
as smart tears for your kingdom. As smart, as smart tears for your kingdom. Amen. 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 Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mary Mother, Mother of God, God pray for us sinners, sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Amen. Saints Michael, Raphael, and Gabriel, pray, pray for us. Angel of God, my guardian, guardian dear to whom God's, God's love leads me here, for this is the place I decide to light and guard and guide and 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 the man. Saint Augustine, Saint Anthony, and Saint Hannibal. Pray, pray, pray for, for us. Saint John the Baptist. Pray, pray for, pray us. for us. Send, O Lord. Your holy apostles into your church. church. The Lord be with you. And, and with, with your spirit. spirit. Almighty God bless us and our families, the Father, Son, and, and Father, Holy, Spirit. Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen. 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 Good evening. Good evening, Father. Good evening. Father. Thank you very much, Father. Um, so learn, oh, wow. learn how to dance. <laughs> <laughs> and TikTok. <laughs> I miss <laughs> TikTok. I miss Hi, Tito Ben. Uh, so we haven't discussed yet. Ben. <laughs> I missed the discussion. I was late. Wala pang, wala pang it's discussion, okay. Tito. Wala pang Prayer discussion. And sharing. Uh, <laughs> and we miss you also yesterday. Uh, um, oh, Father, um, personally, magkilala si si King Herod and uh, John the Baptist. Personally, he, he heard about John the Baptist. He he knows ah. that he is a good person. In fact, sabi nga, he would listen when John would speak. So, siguro mm. anonymous siya, outa parang masalabas lang malayo, pero he admires John the Baptist. Ah, okay. Kasi kasi uh, para very very bold ang ginawa ni John the Baptist no naging condemn niya no uh, yes, gin condemn niya si si King Herod no about about his uh, wife na hindi naman legal hindi legit hindi mm -hmm. ano hindi kasi nga may uh, adulterous sa uh, act ng, yes. ng ng king ba so mm -hmm. I I was thinking na baka magkakilala sila and then uh, one time nag nagmet sila and then sinabihan siya ni John the Baptist straight on his, on his face na what you're doing is this kasi ang ang hatred ni Herodias si nandiyan ang hatred ni Herodias yes. kay John the Baptist yeah in fact that's the first part of the gospel when he told Herod I guess kasi the, the role of Saint John is to proclaim repentance so he knows that uh, Herod is in sinfulness that's why he, he was saying it to him he told him, it's not lawful for you. Oh. And in fact, it was Herod who had arrested John. So he, he has his knowledge of John. Pero personally, you know, here in the gospel, he said, because if you take the gospel, John said, had said to Herod, so yeah, uh, no. we don't know what kind of communication they had, no? Either uh -huh. wedding direct, face to face, wedding uh -huh. either through others. Although, kasi the word of the gospel would simply say, John had said to Herod, "Is that lawful for you to have your brother's wife?" And so it was Herodias who hard bore the grudge. Kasi the uh -huh. panga panga ang sunod Herod feared John, knowing him to be a righteous and holy man, and kept him in his custody. When he heard him speak, he was very much perplexed. Also, you know, yet he liked to listen to him. He's listening to John. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. So it's secretly, a close huh? encounter, perhaps. Yes, yeah, secretly, Siguro, or oh, it's a close secretly, encounter. Huh? And when John oh. would preach, he was he would be simply around monitoring or. Oh, so, oh. siguro si hero yung first marites talaga. <laughs> 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 Tapos nag-react si Hero Diaz. <laughs> Kasama si Hero Diaz. <laughs> si Hero Diaz yung first marites, si Hero yung first tolits. <laughs> 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 
Ah, That's why maganda na ginawa ng simbahan to put it as the passion of St. John because uh, it's really suffering as well. To be imprisoned, to be beheaded. Oh, Kasi last time it's only the beheading of St. John before the renewal, the translation of the sacramentary. Pero pag start niya ng, ng uh, life niya sa wilderness, Father, is ano na yan? Passion na yan siguro, no? Well, it's, it's oh, his no. listening. Yeah. Part oh, of kum, course. Kumaka, kumakain ng low cost lang kinakain niya. Tapos ang ano niya, ang, ang, ano, ang, ang, Honey, ang damit me. niya is uh, ano lang. Tamil Para, sir. Oh. There was a question, why low cost daw? And uh, why only honey? Because there was no Macdo during that time. <laughs> <laughs> I was about to ask na ano kay ano kinakain na, na na hindi luto ang locos o ginaluto niya din siguro. Ginaluto din ba naman? Ginaluto siguro. Ano naman? Masarap oh. naman 'yun, di ba? Pag sa Israel, masarap hmm. naman talaga din 'yan. Ha? Huh? Ang apan no, apan lab, sa parang atin. Parang oh, parang labugan 'yun eh. Okay. <laughs> Oh my God. <laughs> Grass Pero clean. Hopper, di ba? Grass clean naman, naman. Vegetarian lang yeah, iyan. Tapos clean. Cleaner than mm-hmm. the rest of the insects siguro. And saka ano, di ba? Yung, yung protein. honey. Yung oh, honey. honey. Oh. It's, it's also very healthy. Oh. So he was healthy. Pero tinama yung contrast, no? He was in the oh. desert. He rode the Cindy Palace. He has uh, the camel's clothing. Herod was in the best cloth. He, you know, he 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 lives in the wilderness. Herod is in the other place. So it could have been sana na, you know, Herod could listen. But you know, when you are in the palace, adorned, surrounded by everything, then you could not listen really to the will of God. But the wilderness is a place of listening to the will of God, to the message of the Lord. Kaya minsan we have to go to the wilderness of our life. We have to retreat in order to listen. Our moments of silence, our moment of prayer away from the noises. Okay, okay. so see you tomorrow. Uh, thank you very much, Father. Thank you. Thank you very, very much. God bless. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Herod knew on hindsight that he had acted, acted impulsively and recklessly when he made his promises on oath to Salome. Number two, Herod kept his promises not because he was a man of honor, but because he feared that his guests would jeer at him and would think that he is a weak king. Number three, do we make rash and impulsive decisions that would embarrass us? How important is it for us to save faith? Is Jesus challenging us to renew our commitment to follow his ways of living? Of living? Amen. Amen. Thank you, Titeline. Oh, ang, ang ang ano ni Herod is a priority niya is ang 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 to save his face ba sa ano human respect sa kanya human respect kaya kahit napatayan ng isang tao is baliwala sa kanya just to just to show na may man of words siya uh, which is not palabra ano, di honor oh palabra di honor Indeed. At the expense of the life yeah. of others. Huh? Mm. I read one. Uh, I, I have read no so one of those uh, reflections. Na na here he, uh, he, uh, King Herod really really admired Saint John the Baptist about about John's wisdom ab- about his teachings secretly Teach. secretly. Na yung na yung na prison na siya na prison na si John the Baptist. Palagi niya ginapuspon ang persecution. Kasi gusto niya pa gusto niya pa to hear more. Okay. 'Yun ang iho, oh, 'yun ang isang reflection na rinig ko. Hanggang sa wala na siyang ma, wala na siyang maano, wala na siyang magawa because 'yun ang ginano ni Herodias so um, to keep his uh, palabra di honor, to keep his uh, words, gin allow niya na mabehead si 
John the Baptist. So, um, Tita Bell. Yeah. From Haro Cathedral. St. John the Baptist was never afraid of kings. They were meant to let him become stronger to stand for the truth. There will always be people who are bound to criticize, being aware of what pushes them to act. Such will help you avoid this behavior. And we would always become the primary factor for such an attitude. Some people may get mad at you because you are not suffering the way they do. When someone judges you, it isn't actually about you, but it's about their own insecurities, limitations, and unfulfilled needs, which they see have been accomplished in you. It's always difficult for these people to accept their own toxicity, and you become the object to whom they can express their own discontentment. Grab this chance to understand rather than to argue, to empathize rather than to ostracize, and to unite rather than to divide. You lose nothing except winning a friend back to you. Every the poor connection Kabel, for maybe the last paragraph oh, no poor connection ka. siguro yung last paragraph na yun pero bottom line here is um, um, the same sa sabi ni Father Dan. So, thank you very much. I want to read this uh, and share to you the reflection from from um, Catholic Gospel and ano, no, maganda din, no? And then, um, mm. uh, so, teka, ha? Ito. The title is Fidelity in Suffering. Yun. This is about John the Baptist. So we have heard the gospel, no? Uh, the sad story of the beheading of John the Baptist reveals much to us. It reveals, above all, the mystery of evil in our world and God's permissive will to allowing evil at times to flourish. Yun, palagyan natin tanong na bakit kaya nagsigisigi ang gyera? Bakit kaya nagsigisigi? Why, why does uh, God allow all these things to happen? Why did, why did God allow St. John to be beheaded? He was a great man. Jesus himself said that there was no other born of woman greater than John the Baptist. And yet, God allowed John to suffer this great injustice. St. Teresa of Avila once said to our Lord, Dear Lord, if this is how you treat your friends, it is no wonder you have so few. Yan ha? Word siya ni St. Teresa. So, yes, God has clearly allowed those whom he loves to suffer greatly throughout history. What does this tell us? Bakit, bakit kaya no, ganya mag-treat si God sa atin? Do, especially people who love him. Uh, first of all, we should not forget the obvious fact that the father allowed the son uh, to suffer greatly and to be murdered in a horrific way. Jesus' death was brutal and shocking. Does this mean the fa that this mean the father did not love the son? So what does this mean? The fact of the matter is that suffering is not a sign of the disfavor of God. In the end, disfavor. If you suffer, you are given no relief by, and are given no relief by God. It is because it is not because God has abandoned you. In mm -hmm. fact, the opposite is most likely true. Mm -hmm. John the Baptist's suffering is, in fact, the greatest sermon he could have preached. 
It's the it's a witness to his unwavering love of God and his wholehearted commitment to the will of God. Nagset siya ng example for us. The sermon of John's passion is powerful because he chose to stay faithful to our Lord despite the persecution he endured. And from God's perspective, John's fidelity is infinitely more valuable than his continued physical life or, or the physical sufferings he endured. Reflect today upon your own life ito. Reflect today upon your own life. At times, we carry some heavy cross and beg our Lord to take it from us. Instead, God tells us that his grace is sufficient and that he wishes to use our sufferings uh, as a testimony to our fidelity. Very, ano, no? Parang very, very hard to do, no? So the father's response to Jesus, his response to John, and his response to us is a call to enter into the mystery of our sufferings in this life with faith, hope, confidence, and fidelity. Never let the hardships of life deter you from the fidelity toward the will of God. So this is a short prayer. Lord, may I have the strength of your son and the strength of John the Baptist as I carry my own crosses in life. May I remain strong in faith and filled with hope as I hear you calling me to embrace my cross. Jesus, I trust in you. Beautiful. The joys of suffering. And the answer to uh, the, um, a short explanation, why does God allow us to suffer? Uh, hindi lang tayo, uh, kahit na sa ibang tao, no? like, like why may, may gera, why may mga natural calamities, why may mga sakit, may mga, mga sufferings, mga pain. And, and yet, no matter how much we pray, kung minsan is parang, parang God doesn't hear us. Pero yun ang purpose ng sufferings. For us to open our heart, to open our, ano, tapos parang ginatest ang faith natin. So let's, um, just in case, no, let's all Thank suffer, you. no? And and and, and uh, consider our sufferings and um, just f uh, fully um, <coughs> trusting God, whatever His will is. Because there is always, um, there's always uh, uh, something good waiting for us. Kasi, uh, sabi nga, ang sufferings din natin, mga sufferings, mga pains natin, no? crosses in life, no? is uh, one way of uh, purifying ourselves, purification yan natin. So let's just uh, hope and uh, uh, keep our faith stronger. Amen. 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 Any piece of your thought? God allows God allows for us to cleanse our but if we look at our lives and look at our sufferings we can also realize that our sufferings are so little compared to what the Lord has suffered for us because of our sins. And if we really atone for our sins, then we will say, Lord, I will offer these sufferings to you. They're so little compared to what you have suffered for me. And I will offer these sufferings to you in atonement for the sins that I have committed against you and to my fellow men. Just like when, when I went into labor in my second, in my second child, I I realized that I, I, I talked to the Lord that, Lord, I will offer the pains of my labor 
to you because this this pain is just so little so little compared to what you sacrifice for me on the cross for us no? for mankind for the sake of mankind and true enough the pain became bearable so if we offer our pains our our difficulties our problems our our trials and tribulations to our Lord and realize that these are very small compared to what the Lord suffered for us on the cross, then our trials and difficulties in life will really be lightened and become bearable and become not so heavy anymore. I, I realized that in my life. In the sufferings that I have encountered. Amen. Amen. Tita Connie, you have something to share? Huh? Um, may sayings po kasi na promises are made to be broken. <laughs> so, uh, sa case ni Herod, talagang he, he fulfilled the promise. Pero, I think uh, not all promises should be fulfilled kung hindi naman, kung hindi naman siya mag-produce ng maganda like what Herod done na pinafulfill niya yung promise kasi nga uh, may palabra di honor siya but morally and uh, pero immoral siya at saka illegal siya yung ba yung results nun so hindi pa rin basihan na promises are should be should be fulfilled ng ganun and also um uh, sa ginagawa sa ano ng Panginoon sa atin, it's really, yun sabi nga ni Tita Bell, it's really for us to carry our cross. Kasi nga, um, that's what God wanted us to to do, to follow Him and to carry our own cross. Uh, there's no need, iba't iba din kasi yung crosses natin, may iba na mas mahaba, mas ma But I think God will not give us what we cannot carry naman. Ah, uh, yung iba siguro na big na nabigatan sa cross nila but uh God knows more eh. So, kumbaga, uh take up your cross lang talaga. Y- yun lang. And in the end, uh andoon yung joy, andoon yung happiness, the true happiness that really uh what we are aiming for. That's it. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Tita Kwon. Tita Grace, do you have a closing prayer? Sige, Tita Bell. Okay. Okay. God, grant us serenity to accept the things we cannot accept. Courage to change the things we cannot, we can and wisdom to know the difference. Living one day at a time, enjoying one moment at a time, accepting hardship as a pathway to peace. Taking as Jesus did, this sinful world as it is, not as I would have it. Trusting that you will make all things right, if we consider to your will, so that we be reasonably happy in this life, and supremely happy with you forever in the next life. Amen. 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 Glory be to the Father, to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Spirit. As it was was in the beginning, beginning, now, 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 never, forever, without end. Amen. Amen. In the name of the Father, Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Spirit. Amen. Amen. Amen.
Thank, thank you. Thank you. Thank, thank you so much. Um, good night. Thank you. God bless. Bye-bye. Good night. Bye. Bye. Good night.